So today I'm talking about a P2251 code, what it is and how you could go about fixing it. And so what is a P2251 code? Well, it's an O2 sensor negative current control circuit open bank one sensor one. And so what does this mean? Well, basically there's what's called oxygen sensors and they're located down the exhaust and they do two things. The first thing they do is they monitor how much oxygen was burnt off during combustion. And then the computer uses that information to adjust the air fuel ratio mixture that's going into the cylinders. And then the second thing they do is they monitor the catalytic converter. But when you get this P2251 code, the computer's seeing a problem with one of these sensors, mainly the bank one sensor one O2 sensor. And so it's got to be troubleshooted to know why. And if you have a V6 or V8 engine, the engine's gonna have two banks. Bank one is always the side of the engine with the number one cylinder. And the opposite of that is bank two. So if you Google the cylinder locations on your particular engine, since there can be differences between engines and you locate the number one cylinder, then that side of the engine is going to be bank one. If you have a four cylinder engine, then there's only going to be one bank. And so what are some possible causes of a P2251 code? Well, the main things that's going to cause this is either that bank one sensor 102 sensor that has gone bad and needs to be replaced or the wiring going to it. And the basics of what's going on with these O2 sensors is that there's going to be two on each bank of the engine. Sometimes there could be three, but usually there's two. Sensor one is going to be located before the catalytic converter, and it's also called the upstream O2 sensor. And sensor two is going to be located after the catalytic converter, sometimes right on it, and it's also called the downstream O2 sensor. And when you get this P2251 code, the sensor to locate and go and check is going to be this bank one sensor one O2 sensor. And there's a few different ways to go about testing these sensors. If you have a good OBD2 scan tool that has live data or data stream, you can use it to go and check and see what these sensors are doing. For example, right here, all the O2 sensors have been selected. So this right here at the top is going to be bank one, sensor one. Right here is bank one, sensor two. And then you have bank two, sensor one. And then you have bank two, sensor two. And when it comes to sensor one, it should be reading some oxygen content. So it should be bouncing up and down a little bit like this. This is basically what you want to see. Sensor 2 is located after the catalytic converter, and it shouldn't be reading any oxygen content. So it should be flat like this. If sensor 1 is stuck flat right in the middle, or really high or really low, then you know there's some kind of issue going on with that sensor. There's some tests that you could do on that O2 sensor this way, basically seeing how it reacts to like revving up the engine and different things like this. There's some good YouTube videos on this, on how you go about testing these O2 sensors using an OBD2 scan tool. I've made videos on this. I'll put a link down in the description box below if you want to check that out. But basically the first thing that could cause this is a bad bank one sensor one o2 sensor and the next thing that could cause this is there's some kind of issue going on inside of the wiring basically like an open a short possibly a blown fuse something along those lines if you do go to check the wiring it's always going to be a good idea to get a wiring schematic for your particular vehicle that way you know for sure what's going on there can't be two wire sensors three wire sensors these four wire sensors are fairly common and basically what's going on with these O2 sensors is that there's going to be two parts to them. They're going to have the oxygen sensor part that's detecting how much oxygen there is, but then they also have these heater elements built in. And basically the O2 sensor part of these sensors can't start getting good readings until they get hot. And so that the computer doesn't have to wait for the engine to warm up and the exhaust to warm up. And they built in these heater elements to help it warm up quickly. These heater elements usually have 12 volts going to that sensor when the engine's cold. And usually they're going to be on a fuse and a relay. And then there's also going to be two wires going to the oxygen part of that sensor, which is going to have a ground wire and voltage. So if you have a multimeter, you can get wiring schematics for your particular vehicle and go and check and be sure that you're getting 12 volts through the heater element when the engine's cold and also that there's no problems with the wiring going back to the computer. It's also a good idea to go and check for any bad fuses or relays. Again, this can vary on which fuse or relay it is and how it's labeled and things like this. So you will have to do a little research on your particular vehicle to know for sure what's going on. But for example, right here, this is a Toyota. And right here, it's labeled AF heater. That's going to be the fuse going to that heater element. And then over here, it's labeled AF heater. That's going to be the relay going to that heater element. So it's a good idea to go and check for any bad fuses, possibly a bad relay. Because the next thing that could cause this is that there's some kind of issue inside the wiring. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P2251 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.